How are you all? This is a math group. Today we are going to talk about a problem in quadratic equation. So I'll share my screen with you. From the top of a building, a projectile is shot 400 feet high with a velocity of 64 feet per second. Its altitude height after t seconds is given by h of t, h is a function of t, minus 16 t squared plus 64 t plus 400. What is the maximum height of the projectile? When does the projectile hit the ground? So h of t is minus 16 t squared plus 64 t plus 400. At the maximum height dh by dt equal to zero. So we take the derivative of h with respect to t, first derivative, which is minus 16 times 2, 32, minus 32 t plus 64. At maximum height dh by dt equal to zero. Thus minus 32 t plus 64 equal to zero from which we solve for t is equal to 64 by divided by 32, which is two seconds. So after two seconds, it will reach the maximum height. So the question is, what is the maximum height of the projectile? So we want to find h of two. That is, we want to take the value of the independent variable t as two. So it is minus 16 times two square plus 64 times two plus 400, which works out to 464 feet. That is the maximum height of the projectile. When the projectile part B, when does, when does the projectile hit the ground? When the projectile hits the ground, its vertical height is zero. So h of t is equal to zero. So we form a quadratic equation, zero is equal to minus 16 t square plus 64 t plus 400, which if we divide by negative 16 all throughout, we get t square minus 40 minus 25 equal to zero. So t, so the coefficient t square of uh, coefficient of t square, which is ax square plus bx plus c coefficient of t square is a, which is one coefficient of t, which is b is minus four and constant c is minus 25. So the solution for t is minus b, which is minus four times minus four, sorry, minus four minus minus four, which is positive four plus minus b square, which is minus four square, which is 16 minus four ac. So minus four times minus 25, a is one remember. So minus four times minus 25 is positive 100. So t is equal to four plus minus 10.77 divided by two. The only feasible solution for positivity, we forget the negative sign in front of 10.77. We only consider four plus 10.77 divided by two is 14.77 divided by two, which is 7.385 or 7.39 seconds. Okay, so if you have any question about this problem, you can write me a note and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And uh, thanks for watching. And if you like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel. I'll come back next time with another problem, another solution. Again, thanks. Have a nice day and I will see you next time. Take care.